Yo, what's going on guys? It's Shaq here and uh here's like sort of a part 2 on how to get DS4 Windows to work now. A lot of people were saying that they weren't having like it wasn't showing up for them. So here's a part 2 basically on how like to make sure it works. So make sure you download it. I also heard that the current version uh doesn't work for some people. I tried it out and it wasn't working for me. So uh you could go down to older versions. Uh, if I head on to my DS4 Windows, let me eject my controller so it's n so nothing shows up. Okay, so the version my DS4 Windows is on 3.018, which I think is this one all the way down here. The link will be in the description below. So when you click on that, it will just automatically put an uh a download thing here. I don't really need it because I already have it installed. And sometimes when you try to play. Or try to connect it it wouldn't work because you don't have microsoft net runtime installed now you could either run the 86 version or the 64 version i recommend downloading the 64 version which like helps a lot uh i don't i don't know i don't know what's the difference but like when you run 64 compared to 86 from what i've seen is that 64 is better you could try either i just had more like better experience with the uh, x64 than x86 now if i connect it in also make sure your connection works i have a second wire that can't connect uh, that connects to the thing but the wire is messed up so it doesn't really read the playstation controller now i just connected my controller in as you can see it's 100 percent battery it's called dual sense uh let's go to edit profile we have everything here and if you're wondering how you can get the light bar to be a rainbow you basically just go to uh the light bar and then you just make it a rainbow while charging because i'm using wired and if you want to play wireless you you basically just disconnect it head on to your bluetooth settings yes yeah so uh basically what you want to do is you want to go to your bluetooth settings uh let's turn on our bluetooth uh you want to hold the share and the playstation home button for a couple seconds, you know, it'll start blinking, whatever. Uh, and then you just click on Bluetooth, and then there's wireless controller, which should connect in any second now. There we go, the controller connected, and now it pops up over here. Uh, cool thing about Bluetooth or not, the the mill the input delay still stays like super low. You know, I'm moving the controller. the The red one is um the gyro and then the left stick and then you have the right stick as well so yeah here's a cool little tutorial if you guys enjoyed the video leave a like subscribe comment if you haven't already and peace out tell me if it works as well